What's up my Trinbago Five peeps? Welcome to another chapter in Villages here in Trinidad and Tobago and I thought what better spot to kick this off than Gandhi Village. It's the hometown of my mom so I said why not. So let's deep dive into a little history here while we explore Gandhi Village. Alright so Gandhi Village is in South, Debe to be exact. So you take the turn off of the Solomon Ho Choi Highway Like if you're swinging into Debe and you go around two roundabouts Continue west past all the Debe markets and everything Onto the M2 Ring Road Now the M2 Ring Road links like Debe to the Aramean side Yeah So you go up the M2 Ring Road And then you swing left This here is the entrance into the village itself This road will take you straight down to the end of the highway Well currently the end of the highway by the way, if this is your first time here, welcome to the Vibes. I'm Rajiv. Here at Trinbago Vibes, we explore everything Trinidad and Tobago. And yeah, so we're going to visit my grandparents who still live here in Railway Road. And we'll learn a thing or two about Gandhi Village. My gosh, the road is a little horrible. Yes, when you come through the south in Trinidad, you'll encounter a set of bad roads. Ah. So yeah. And here used to be my nanny's house, right here, this greenhouse, well, greenhouse now. So she passed away, God rest her soul. They still have some nice Portugal in her backyard, boy, and some Pomerac. Look how the village has evolved. I don't think there's any old houses here remaining. Everything else is concrete structures. Let's gonna stop here, make a little stop here, and just show you all the temple. This is one of the first spots I actually acted in a play, and it got me the love to be acting in plays for Diwali program something here in Trinidad and Tobago and I mean I went on to produce and write a few of those at UE on my first channel on YouTube you can see that they are uploaded well at least I'm not sure because it probably got some copyright strikes because you know those were uploaded back in that would have been 2008 to 2010 somewhere around there so yeah I'll leave a link to those if you want to check those out in the description below this is the Radha Krishna Mandir here in Gandhi village And don't forget to hit that like button in the comments below. Alright, it will be greatly appreciated for growing this channel. This is the statue of Mahatma Gandhi indicating the name for the village. Now this wasn't always called Gandhi village, it was another name. But back in the 1960s, the villagers came together and went to the Prime Minister, the first Prime Minister in Trinidad Tobago, Dr. Eric Williams. And got him to change the name to its current one, Gandhi village. Before it was called Kuliwood, a Kuli is basically a uh, Unskilled labourer, it is a decoratory tomb, it is a, you know, it is something that we don't use at this day and age, it's not appropriate. Anyway, let's go chat with my grandparents now and get a little more history here in Gandhi village. So yeah, so we used to walk, well, that is the direction to my grandparents and we used to come by this parlour here when we were young. Yeah, my grandmother, aka mama, used to just give me a dollar and she used to spoil us. And we used to always come here by Uncle Brim there and buy whatever we wanted or with a snack or oh, a soft drink one dollar <laughs> back in the days fun memories here boy okay because this is my mom home village we should come here and visit here every weekend right when we were small sometime early in the in the 80s 1980s i went to locate a birth certificate for your great grandma oh okay and when we went to the red house the one of the clerk yeah give us the book show us the page where we could look for and i went through the pages and what i could have found in the pages the name it was not gandhi village alone or cooliewood alone it was cooliewood jungle cooliewood jungle oh it was cooliewood jungle that what i see in the register in the red house <laughs> So who would I mean name it like that? The the British? The well, Indian idea? I don't know if it's the ancestors, the Indian ancestors and them. But I can't say really who put the name Cooleywood. Gandhi Village was such a nice place before, eh? but let me go down that road there. <laughs> so what what's changed in if say the past? A lot of changes. A lot of changes. A lot of changes. A lot, a lot of changes. This road to begin with, this road was This road where we live in here. Yeah. This this was the railway line. Yeah. 
Oh, that why they call it railway really road. Yeah. yeah. So when train, the train used to actually pass through here. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. The train, the train used to pass. actually pass through here. That's why people say Hadley Bell House. Yeah. So when the train passes, um, the concrete just crack up. Uh huh. So okay. So that's why people there used to build concrete houses. So oh. Build carat and board and all board, this. Board, you know, board house. Most so how all they came here then? Like how all they see that the train used to so fast here now? Oh, so mine was um, gravel road and the train was passing. The train is passing every minute. Yeah. It has certain times it passing. So you could have time to go down, baby, walk back home and you wouldn't bounce up with the train. And even so it bounce up with the train, sometimes they used to stop and pick up all the school children by the, where the market they right now. Yeah. From there, they used to pick up the school children and drop them by this juncture. Oh. And then go to the way the otherwise. destination where yeah. they had to go. And when they had to pick up the cane and take this, so pick up the cane and then go back. Oh. And all of us living here when when the train was passing. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> I didn't even know that. You see? Because look, 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 look at the common film uh, a YouTube video for me to figure out that. <laughs> when <laughs> when I came. The carrot house they had. Yeah. yeah. Are there pictures of it by chance or no? No, no. Just back in them days, they wouldn't have that. No, those days, we ain't got a camera and whatever. <laughs> we got a camera, but special people got a camera and thing because when I came in here, yeah. the railway line was still here. Now they use a type of, a, a type of lumber where they just put the rail line on, which they call look, look, slippers. Right here, watch. Yeah, this is what we call a slippers. Yeah, they this. call it a slippers. Oh. And that used to put the cross. That used to put a cross on the railway line, used to run on it. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. That's the only surviving thing we made back then. From this? From yeah, the ancient yeah. days. Oh, wow. I didn't even know that. You see what I mean? And that never rotten, you know. Now rotten a little bit. I over me how much. Yeah. yeah. So, so th th this, this would have been on the, the road? Yeah. Yes, yes. On the road. On the road. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> oh. And it's now rotten. Yeah. Over, I don't know how much years now. Decades. Over, Maybe it could say hundred years. Yeah. <laughs> when I, and when I came here to live, the rail the railway line was still running here. Yeah. And the the workers in the estate had a little carrier they call a trolley. Trolley, yeah. A trolley used to fit on the railway line. Uh -huh. But they could have manhandled it and they used to pump it this way to yeah. keep it moving. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So when they come here in the morning, it had an almond tree there. They so lift it off the rail line, put it under the almond tree, and they go home when they finish work. Yeah. When they come back in the morning, they take it up, put it on the line on the railway line, and how many workers have to go? They put it up, they sit down on the trolley and keep on pumping, and they go and do their work, and they come back by lunchtime, they pack it up again. Okay, okay. okay. Until until they they get rid of the the the, the train, mm -hmm. and um, they come and they rip up. Then when they bring tasks, yeah, and yeah. They when they have start tasks, and they rip out all the railway the line and thing. Line and so then it become a gravel road. And okay. That's why they still call it the train lines. Up to now they still say, but well, you know the, the well, well, yeah, because if you check on the maps, it's railway road. Yeah. East well, and railway road, 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 west. Yeah. yeah. So they still say uh, railway road. But in the in the 80s, I can remember in the 80s, in the early 81. Yeah. Here had a little a piece remain, but on the eastern side. Yeah. The whole railway line did remain from there till the market. Oh, serious? So when I used to go to work, yeah. I used to walk through that shortcut there to reach back out the day on the main road. Oh, and what, what, what that going now? Because yeah. with the construction yeah. with the, right. on the new highway. Yeah. So when they rip out everything, I used to walk through there sometime and I go and I had to walk 2 to 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I come, I take a taxi, drop out there 10 o'clock, half past 10 in the night and I walk in through there coming home here. Yeah. I was doing some research and I didn't realize it had that, like they used to have a parliament or something right right by that junction, right by the parlor. <laughs> Well, they were well, like with the old people and them, you know, they used to sit down and discuss like they, their, when I say their uh, youthful days and thing, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of thing. yeah. yeah. With the older heads and them, you know. Whatever. But oh, now, yeah, because I like, I didn't know that. Because yeah. all I know is, that I know there used to be no knocking cards in the corner there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. Right. Under the, in the bar, in the bar there, under the shed in front of the bar. Yeah. There's a uh, three table and four table, everybody not sit down playing cards. They should be playing cards, they should be playing draft. The old people used to... to go to the garden, plant the rice so whatever, watermelon or whatever, they go to the garden. And they come back home in the evening, pick a whole day in the garden. Yeah. They come back home in the evening and they, they relax themselves by the junction. 
with a little car or whatever and think they sit down and they, they play. And according to your know, dada, draft or whatever, you know, they sit yeah. down and they play and relax yourself. Till next day they go back, some cotton cane, some going garden and all these kind of things. And people still have garden and thing, yeah? Yeah. yeah. But that, that and look, have three, three of the railway line wheel like on the yeah, train. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On the junction there. It's still there. Serious? Yes. Yeah. It's still there? Excellent. Yeah, it's still there. I think it's three it have. So, and from, then to, now, and from then, then to now, everything has been, everything changed. Yeah. The, the, attitude, the attitude of the people and the younger generation now that it have here, don't really care about nobody again. Yeah, so everybody, because I remember growing up here, it was like village. Yeah. yeah. So you know everybody around and you know, and they hear people. Again, you see now how Gandhi village is, it is not like a long time. Long ago, you could have, when I say long ago, about 20 years ago. You could leave your house open, your gate open, go to San Fernando or go to Port of Spain and come back. And you're sure you're safe, but not now. Hey, can't not come here and not get food. You know, some dal rice and shrimps. Yeah, that was some best food, boy. You can't go wrong at all with my mama's cooking. And well, this is some homemade lemonade from this tree here, thanks to my daughter. And that's a history of Gandhi village for you. Oh, wow. You know, doing this series, I mean, at least in this one, in this case, it, it, it's amazing. I learned a good bit. That's pretty cool. And the So hope you enjoyed that one. As I head out here now, make sure to hit that like button, share this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Till then, my trim bagel vibe peeps are gone. Later. Actually, let me show you the next entrance into the village at the end of the highway. Don't mind the weather looking if here, but you swing right and, well, never mind. Anyway, this is your next entrance or exit into the village. Candy village.